We often give up a lot for people we love. We care deeply for them, but sometimes they let us down. They use our good nature for their own benefit. When they need us, they're nice, but once they get what they want, they leave quickly, like a bird taking off. But how can you turn this around and be in charge? Simply avoid these 15 actions and you'll quickly see a difference. Number one, don't change your life just to match someone else's. It's like wearing shoes that are too tight. It hurts and isn't needed. Every step you take to follow them takes you off your own path. You lose your own speed and forget your own goals. Like Seneca said, trying to be in too many places means you're really nowhere. When you always try to match others' expectations, you lose yourself. So switch it up. Stop blending in like a rainbow. It's time to be proud of your own colors. Don't shape your life for others. It's time to walk your own path. Just be you. Your life isn't about compromises. You're here to write your own great story, not someone else's. Number two, in the wisdom of Socrates, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Embrace the stoic philosophy of Seneca, who reminds us that every new beginning comes from an end. Reflect on Aristotle's insight that mistakes are a mark of an educated mind. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to find happiness within and to waste no time on arguments about what a good person should be. Instead, be one. So, as you journey forward, heed these teachings. Forgive yourself, as Epictetus urges, for we cannot choose external circumstances, but we can always choose our response. In the pursuit of a happy life, remember Aurelius' words, very little is needed, it is all within yourself. Success is a continual journey, and in the face of failure, find the courage to persist. Embrace the lessons from your past. They are the keys to unlocking a brighter and more enlightened future. Number three, in the pursuit of external validation, never overlook the importance of self-care. Seeking approval from others is natural, but relying solely on it can create an endless cycle of dissatisfaction. Prioritize self-care by listening to your body, mind and soul. Follow activities that bring you joy, relaxation, and rejuvenation. As the Greek philosopher Epicurus wisely said, it is not so much our friend's help that helps us, as the confidence of their help. Nurture yourself from within, and you'll discover a more sustainable source of happiness. Number four, don't underestimate the power of gratitude. In the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to overlook the positives. Cultivate a habit of gratitude. Take time each day to reflect on the things you're thankful for. Gratitude can shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. As Melody Beatty said, gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Appreciate the small victories, the supportive people around you, and the opportunities for growth. Gratitude can be a guiding light on your journey to a more fulfilling life. Number five, don't ruin your life by being too obsessed with someone. Don't make your life all about them, like a satellite stuck circling around. Focusing too much on someone else makes you lose sight of your own future, your dreams and uniqueness. Start to disappear and you just worry about what they need and want. It's like giving all your water to someone else when you're the one who's thirsty. Marcus Aurelius once said, If you are at peace with yourself, you are at peace with the world. Focusing too much on someone throws off your balance. You end up just a shadow living by their rules. You lose sight of your own worth. Get away from their control. Stop being just a moon to their planet. Start shining like your own sun and light your own way. Your life isn't just a side role in someone else's story. You're the star of your own life. Always remember that and don't let anyone dull your shine. Number six, don't succumb to the pressure of comparison. 
In the age of social media, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing your life to others. Remember that everyone's journey is unique and appearances can be deceiving. Theodore Roosevelt wisely said, Comparison is the thief of joy. Focus on your own path, celebrate your achievements, and appreciate the individuality of your experiences. Cultivate contentment by valuing your progress and embracing the richness of your own story. Number seven, don't let anything harm your mental health or happiness. Hurting your own mental health and happiness for someone else is like burning your house down to keep them warm. It's harmful and makes no sense. When you ignore your own health to please someone else, you're giving them control over your happiness. You end up trying to make them happy while you're sad. Step back and reclaim control. Your mental health and happiness are too important to compromise. They're not things to be traded away. Stop sacrificing yourself in someone else's story. Be the main character in yours. Protect your peace and happiness fiercely. Strengthen your mental toughness. Don't let anyone take your joy. You're in charge of your own mind, not someone to be walked over. Number eight, don't push away your friends or family for someone else. Avoid staying distant from them because of your obsession with someone. It's like chopping off parts of the tree that supports you. Each friend and family member is like a branch that has always supported you. If you start pushing them away, you're not just losing friends, you're breaking down your support network. Plato said people are like soil. They can either help you grow or stop your growth and cause you to wither. When you separate yourself from your loved ones for someone else's approval, you're choosing a hard path. Reconnect with those important people. Look after your network of support. Your friends and family are unique. They're your base, your support system. Stay close to those who have always supported you. Number nine, don't waste so much time on them. Don't give all your time to someone as if they can never have enough. It's like throwing your time into a void. Every minute you spend too focused on them is a minute of your life gone forever. Time is your most valuable thing. It's not something to gamble in someone else's game of demands. Seneca once said, it's not that our lives are short, but that we waste too much of it. Putting all your time into someone else means you're losing the best parts of your life. Take back your time. It belongs to you, not them. Don't make them everything in your life. Find a good balance. Use your time smartly, value it, and spend it on things that make you happy, help you grow, and satisfy you. Remember, you control your own time. Don't waste it on someone who may not appreciate any of it. Number 10. Don't let unresolved conflicts fester. Holding on to grudges and unresolved conflicts can weigh heavily on your emotional well-being. Instead of harboring resentment, strive for open communication and resolution. As Mahatma Gandhi stated, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. Forgiving doesn't mean condoning someone's actions. It's a gift you give yourself to release the burden of negativity, address conflicts, find common ground, and foster healthier connections for your own peace of mind. Number 11. Don't share everything about your past, especially your hardest times. Sharing all your past with someone is like showing them every secret and challenge you faced. Your past, especially the tough parts, is personal. It's your own story that helped you grow through tough times. It's not something to share for others to enjoy or judge. Friedrich Nietzsche said, When we're weak, old ideas we've beaten come back to challenge us. Talking about all your past secrets means you're facing old problems again. Now you're open to being hurt or used. Keep your secrets safe inside you. Not everyone should know them. Share only what you need to, but protect the main parts of your story. It's what makes you strong and protects you. Don't give away your protection to someone else. Be careful who you trust. Your life story is yours alone. 
It's not for others to enjoy, just for fun. Number 12. Don't agree to do something just to make them happy. If you don't enjoy it, it's like putting on a mask that makes it hard to breathe just to make someone else feel good. When you say yes to things you dislike, you're not only ignoring what you like, you're being untrue to yourself. It's like covering up your favorite colors with ones you don't like. Albert Camus once said, to be truly happy, don't worry too much about others. When you start doing things because someone forces you, not because you want to, you begin to feel bitter and lose self-respect. So take off that mask. Don't just say yes all the time. Learn to say no to things you dislike. Your life isn't a play where you act to please others. Be real, be honest with yourself. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Live your life your way, not as someone else wants. Remember, you're the main character in your life, not just a side character in someone else's. Number 13. Don't forget to adapt and embrace change. Life is inherently dynamic and change is a constant. Resisting change or clinging to a rigid mindset can hinder personal growth. As Heraclitus said, change is the only constant in life. Embrace the opportunities that change brings, be adaptable, and view challenges as stepping stones to new possibilities. Recognize that change can lead to personal evolution and a more resilient, enriched life experience. Number 14. Don't let fear of being alone drive your choices. Making decisions out of fear, especially the fear of being alone, is like walking in the dark with no direction. When you make choices because you're scared of being by yourself, you might end up in places you never wanted to be. It's important to remember that being alone is not the same as being lonely. Aristotle once said, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Spend time understanding and appreciating your own company. This way, when you do choose to be with someone, it's because they add value to your life, not because you're afraid to be without them. Value your own company and don't let fear make your decisions for you. Number 15. Don't forget to celebrate your achievements, even if they seem small. Often we get so caught up in trying to please others or meet their expectations that we forget to recognize our own successes. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory and should be celebrated. Epictetus taught that we should not just seek to be admired by others, but to admire ourselves. Take time to appreciate your own efforts and achievements. Celebrating your progress helps build self-confidence and reinforces the importance of your personal journey. Your accomplishments are yours alone and they deserve recognition. Remember, your life is not just about reaching a destination. It's about appreciating the journey and acknowledging your own hard work along the way. From a stoic perspective, it's vital to remember the power of your own choices and the importance of living in harmony with your true nature. Stoics like Epictetus taught that our happiness and peace come from within, not from external circumstances or other people's approval. You have the strength and wisdom to make decisions that are right for you, even if they don't align with someone else's desires. As you navigate life, Focus on cultivating your own virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. These are the true markers of a fulfilling life, not how well you conform to someone else's expectations or desires. Remember, you have the freedom to choose your path, to embrace your uniqueness, and to write your own story grounded in your values and beliefs. You don't need to compromise your integrity or sacrifice your well-being for others. Instead, take ownership of your life, making choices that reflect your true self. The Stoics believed that true freedom comes from within, from an understanding that our thoughts and actions are up to us. So when you feel pressured to conform, to give up your time, 
or to share more than you're comfortable with, remember that you have the power to choose differently. You are not obligated to live according to someone else's script. You have the right to create your own based on what's truly important to you. It's time to make a change. Begin right away. Decide and pledge to stop doing these things and work towards being the best you can be, no matter what. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily straightforward and honest advice. Until next time.